In this video, I will show you how to bulk compile applications in order for them to be more easily reviewed by the search committee. This action can only be done by a member of the search committee, including the search committee chair. To start, I will show you how to do this from the recruiter or list style dashboard. On this dashboard, there is a section called manager activities. Simply click the link that says jobs requiring panel review and that will take you to your list of jobs that you are a member of the search committee for or the chair for. In this example, we will use this first job and we will click view applicants. This will bring us to the list of the applicants who have applied for this position. In this example, we only have three. In the real world, you will likely have many more. We recommend only bulk compiling 20 to 25 at a time in order to ensure faster processing and to ensure that things get processed correctly. To bulk compile, we are going to check the boxes next to the applicants we wish to use in the process. If you wish to use everyone at once, you may click the box that says select all and all boxes will be checked. But again, if you have more than 20 or 25, please do those in groups and don't try to do them all at once or your process may fail. Once you have selected the boxes, simply click the box that says bulk compile and send. This will open a new window and it will let you know that you have selected three applicants to compile documents for. And then you need to tell the system which documents you wish to include. I have previously run this process, therefore boxes are already checked. However, the first time you run it, you will need to check the boxes. After that, it's simply a review to make sure you're still getting everything you wish to have. We recommend always checking these first four boxes. This will give you the applicant's personal information, their profile, which includes things like education and experience, the application form itself, which includes all of the questions they've answered, and any additional forms that may be included in the application. The rest of the information is not needed. When you scroll down to the applicant documents section, you want to include the cover letter. You always want to include other documents just to be safe. And you'll want to include the resume. Now there may be other items that you wish to include. For example, you may wish to include a writing sample. On the faculty side, you will always want to include letter of recommendation. And as a note, on the faculty side, selecting CV does not get you their actual CV. You must check the box that says resume. Okay. And again, you may check anything else in this list. If it's something you've requested to be included as part of their application, you'll want to make sure you check it here. And that may change depending on the recruitment. The recruiter documents section should be left blank. And you will not print this, so you do not need to check this box. Once you've confirmed that all of your boxes are checked correctly, simply click Create PDF. During this processing time, the system is going out to gather the candidate's application, their resume or CV, their cover letter, and any of the other documents that you have selected. It will pull them all into one large PDF so that you don't have to individually open documents. We will take a pause and come back when this process is complete. When the process completes, and that could take several minutes depending on how many applications you are processing, you will be given brought to a page that looks like this. It looks like it wants to send an email, but we will ask you to select no, as we do not want you to send an email from the system, including the applications. Instead, you will click this hyperlink that says download document. And that's going to download the file to your machine, whether that's your laptop or a desktop machine. Normally, it may pop it open depending on your settings. The file looks something like this. It will say page up, people, applicant, bulk, compile. And then it will give you a list of the candidates that are included. If for some, th some reason one of those candidates does not have any documents, it will put a small asterisk by their name. 
in this testing example, none of the candidates have documentation because this is just a test. As you scroll through, it will go through each person one by one. It will give you their personal information, their profile that normally would include education, employment, history, etc., and then so forth. It will give you their full application form. It will show that they've consented to give you this information, and then it will give you their cover letter, resume, CV, etc. Then we'll move on to the next person. Okay. What we suggest doing with this file is saving it on a Google Share Drive or some other secured Share Drive that only the committee has access to. Only the committee should be looking at these applications, nobody else. Once you've downloaded your file and moved it, you can click OK or Close and you will be brought back to the screening page. Once you're back here, you can uncheck the boxes and then the committee can review the candidates' applications and move on to the screening itself. In order to get to these pages from the tiled dashboard, or what's known as the hiring manager dashboard, you will see a tile that says search committee review anytime you are attached to a search committee. You will only see this dashboard if you've taken no other training for CHRS recruiting. Once you've taken either the initiate or manage recruitment courses, you will be given the other access to see the list style dashboard. From this dashboard on the Search Committee Review tab, you will see a hyperlink and tells you how many jobs require panel review. Simply click that link and it will take you to the same page we saw previously when I was looking as myself. Now I'm looking as a Search Committee member and they can also go to View Applicants and have the same access to bulk compile and send. Our recommendation is that only one person on the committee actually compile the applications. That way you don't have to spend time for everyone doing it. If one person compiles them, they can put them in that Google or other secured file share for the committee and then everyone can access that file.